We now turn to an uplifting story on how acts of kindness can spread and make a real difference in the world. Tonight, you could watch a CBS News special called The Gift, Kindness Goes Viral with Steve Hartman. In it, Steve shares heartwarming stories of ordinary people changing lives with simple acts of humanity. In this preview, we meet a hairdresser who gives free haircuts to those in need and catch up with a bus driver who creates a community for his students. And Steve has a very special reunion with a young man he mentored. Take a look. When I opened up my salon here, I always wanted red chairs. That was something I was not going to compromise on. And I remember just looking at the chairs and being like, you know, this is kind of a waste. Like, what if I, like, stuck this in my car and just went and offered haircuts? Like, growing up downtown, I saw a lot of people who were struggling and experiencing homelessness. This was something I had to see for myself. Get there. What does it mean that somebody cares enough to lay their hands on you? It means a lot because that's the thing I crave more than anything when after being homeless for so long. It's just that closeness of just uh, human contact. We're going to care about each other and we're going to love everybody, right? Omar. To show his love and understanding. Hey, Chief! Curtis gave presents throughout the year. You say you like baseball. Each one personally selected with that child in mind. Hey! My mom got divorced when I was only four. I'll see you tomorrow. He's the father that I always wanted. After we first told this story, Curtis got a promotion to relationship expert for the district. It's going to be all right. We're going to work with your mom. We're gonna, everything's going to be okay, okay? Curtis Jenkins' message of kindness has gone viral. I know I'm planning to see four the future. Be good now. Kindness, love, respect. Simple, simple, simple. Viral kindness isn't just a current trend. Many of our most famous charities were founded on simple acts of kindness. For example, Big Brothers Big Sisters, which is now in all 50 states. I was a big brother myself, several times, in several places including once in Minnesota. A little nervous. I recently went back to see my little brother. Been a long time. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Robert Dunlavy was 10 when I met him. He was living with his mom and three sisters. No father figure. Steve played a, a, the role of another family member. Well, you turned out <clears> just <throat> fine, despite your mother's worries. You know, you helped with that, Steve. You helped a lot with that. Never would have thought I'd be who I am today. Um, okay, don't do that to me. <laughs> Steve Hartman joins us now. You know, Steve, it's about time you have to cry. Uh, because well, every, true. every true. time one of your stories goes we all on, cry. I'm like, Man. <laughs> my husband's like, are you going to be okay? I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> It's just I, that hug at the end of that piece was so beautiful. Did you know that you were going to have that impact on your little no. brother? No, I did not. I mean, we'd stayed in touch a little bit, but he was very forthcoming with the impact that the Big Brothers program had on his life, and it was it was good to see. And yes, I did cry, <laughs> but I'm not going to show too much of that. <laughs> and and you're, you're very big on paying it forward. Why is that so important to you? Well, this is what kind of restores my faith in humanity. Of course. Um, when people have an act of kindness done unto them and they pass it along. And that's really the premise of the whole show. I started wondering if, if COVID can go viral, why, what's stopping kindness from going viral? Right. And so that's what we explore. There's dances, there's challenges, all these things go viral nowadays. Right, so You're why saying, can't kindness, kindness take over the world? Yeah. And we have a formula that will make it happen. Mm. Well, Steve, one of the things, and we were talking a little bit about this in the green room, I sort of take my cues from you when I do what to watch because I do believe that there is a space for stories that unite and inspire all of us, and you are the master at doing that. But we often, the media sometimes gets painted with this brush that we don't do that, that we actually divide people. Why do you feel it's so important? And I really hope this becomes a regular series at CBS, but why do you think that there's a yearning for programming that inspires and unites? because we're so divided and people don't like it. And they really do want to be brought together. Now there's a, this is kind of a double-edged sword because people say they want more stories that unite us, but they don't always vote that way with their remote control. Mm. We need them to do that tonight, to send a message to CBS and to other networks that this is the kind of programming we want to see more of.
My favorite CBS Morning segment is Kindness 101. Yeah. It's so good. Like, everything has to stop when it's on. <laughs> um, and your kids are just ugh, <laughs> perfect. You I mean, we like you, you too. Don't, you don't, <laughs> you're great. You're okay, Steve. And you don't live with them, so I'm not I going know. every day like, going, wow, you're perfect. I can see you knocking on their dressing room door. <laughs> Five minutes. We're, we're all, there. It's almost show time. But I have so many questions. So behind the scenes, like, do you, how many takes does that take? Because they seem like naturals. Is that your, also your real addict? Attic. It's not an attic. It's just, it's my office. Oh, it's your office. It's my office, yeah. And there are, we shoot for maybe half hour and show the very best, you know, yeah. minute. Yeah. So there's a lot of banter that I would never include. I don't want anybody to ever see. <laughs> now, Steve, you mentioned the formula. You said we have a formula. Yeah. Um, how, how do you communicate that formula to all of the viewers at home? Well, because, again, I, I, wanted to, I wanted to make the point that kindness can go viral. And so we went to MIT mm -hmm. and got a professor at MIT to come up with a, uh, how do we get kindness to go viral? What really? will it take? Yes, we Wait, did. Wait, but don't share it. People have to watch tonight. Yes. Yeah. You're and special. it's not that hard. Oh, it this really is. Isn't. This is really doable. Oh, Steve, man. thank you so much for being here. Your kindness his special, The Gift, Kindness Goes Viral with Steve Hartman, premieres tonight at 10 right here on CBS and on your streaming device and streaming service, Paramount+. Plus.